my friends, Glenda Mollett here and welcome to my craft room. I am an independent stamping up demonstrator and I am located on the west coast of British Columbia on Vancouver Island, which is on the west coast of British Columbia on the west coast of Canada. Next stop, Japan. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me. If you are joining me in person or in person. You're joining me live thank you so much if you are watching the replay i do appreciate it if you are watching on my facebook page thanks so much i'm just over in facebook right now making sure that i am live and why is it not showing me uh oh does that mean i'm not live what is going on nobody's joining me Maybe I'm not live over there. Try once more. If I don't. Okay, it's not coming up. It's not coming up. If there's anybody out there watching me, please let me know that you can see me because I can't. It's not going live. No, I hate when this happens. Hi, Janet. So you can see me. I'm live because I can't find myself on Facebook at all. Where are you watching me? Oh, my God. Sorry, I am searching, busily searching. Oh, good. Are you watching on my page, Janet? Or did you, uh, oh, there's Holly. You're on Facebook. Why can't I see it on Facebook? Good Lord. Technology, don't you love it? When it works, it works. When it doesn't work, it's a pain in the butt. And I can't, honestly cannot find me. Okay, so maybe I need to click on there. Okay, when I click on my face, on my little round face, I can see. But that doesn't get me sharing it over to my VIP group. So that doesn't help at all. I might just have to forego VIP group tonight. I tell you, I have no idea what is going on with technology. One minute it works and one minute it doesn't. Okay, so apparently I can't find it, but I am live. So, hey, Connie. Okay, I'm going back to StreamYard. There's some people here. We'll just go with it and I'll end up sharing it to Facebook when I get it up on YouTube. That's fine. What? We'll do it. So tonight I have a card for you that I created on the spur of the moment when I was having a team social time on Friday night. And I grabbed my paint, no perennial lavender sweet stuff and came up with a card. And while I was coming up with it, I decided that I wanted to revisit one of my favorite techniques. So this card actually has two techniques on it. One, it's the um, Stampin' Blends alcohol rubbing alcohol background technique. And the other one is the new Thoughtful Moments Hybrid Embossing Folder and Dyes. Because holy Aunt Jemima, those things are cool. Okay. I'm not, I'm thinking that some people are just not finding me. So if I do this, go over to Facebook and go to my VIP group. See, it says I'm live, but it's not letting me. Okay, I just shared the link to the VIP group because that's just, it's not right. And there's only four people watching when there's usually way more. But anyways, the four important people and myself are here, so we're going to have fun. Okay, I'm going to flip this around and whoever comes, comes. Otherwise, you know, they can watch the replay. So here's the card. Isn't that pretty? 
It's got sparkles. It's not hard to make at all. Hi, Lena. Then there's a strip of shimmer paper down there. Do you see the blingy blingy on there? And then that piece in behind the sentiment, that's the technique I'm going to share with you. And this is an embossing folder and dies. And I'm going to show you a technique. Hi, Pat. And then if I have time, I've got another card that has the same technique in, used in a different way. So if we have time, I'm going to show you how to do this card too. I'm not doing Share It Saturday Draw tonight because I didn't have time to get it ready. So I'll do it tomorrow night during my Paper Pumpkin unboxing and creating. Is that okay with everybody? Hi, Nadine. Pat, did I say hi to you? I don't remember, but hello. Okay, so last two days to sign up for the Spring Creative Retreat creative escape using this suite of products registration closes on the 24th so you have the 23rd and 24th to sign up and you have until the 1st of february to register for my hot air balloon class in person or virtual for both events or you can do the projects with the exclusive step-by-step -step fully informational tutorials okay so You'll notice there's no envelope because I ran out of envelopes. So I didn't create one for this card. And thank you, Janet, for saving my Batinsky. Janet loaned me a package of envelopes. How in the world do I run out of envelopes? No idea. Okay. Gorgeous Grape Highland Heather is what we're using for the colors. The background technique I am using dark lost lagoon and light pretty peacock and i have it's a propyl alcohol you need the 99 percent because anything less than 99 percent does not move the the ink around like it should and i'm going to use just a regular paintbrush okay oh thanks janet yeah my order is still uh, I haven't checked this afternoon because I was busy with a class and then the kids were here for dinner. I'm hoping my orders arrived in Vancouver. I hadn't even arrived in Vancouver yet. Okay, painted lavender stamp set. Painted lavender dies. I'm going to use this one and this one to do the die cutting. The sentiment, the... Um, Rubbing alcohol piece is cut out with a thoughtful expressions die. Hi, Cindy. Welcome, welcome. So I'm going to cut it out with the, I think it's number two. Yeah, number two. And then the sentiment. Do you see this sentiment? Do you see that? That's embossed. How can I show that to you? I don't know whether I can. There, can you see the embossing on that? It is amazing. So it's a hybrid embossing folder. So this die called Thoughtful Moments die fits inside the Thoughtful Moments hybrid embossing folder like this, right? There's channels that it fits down in. Oh, Holly, yours is still in Richmond. Oh, I bet ours are hanging out together. Yeah, gall darn. Holly, if you don't see movement on your package, Tomorrow, get a hold of demo support and tell them because that was supposed to be fixed. Okay, so the embossing folder fits inside, or the dies fit inside the embossing folder. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You see, it's got ink around the edges of the embossed image. Ooh. And then if I have time, I want to try it with gold embossing powder. Oh, thanks, Cindy. Okay, and then I'm going to finish off with some um, purple fine shimmer gems because they're pretty and I like them. <laughs> okay, so first of all, let's let's do the background technique. That now, who comment and let me know who has done this technique before? I'm just getting oh something to cover my thing here so I can protect my my surface. I've done this a couple of times live, but it's been a couple of years since I did this. 
And when I was busy creating with my team the other, well, I wasn't creating with them. We were just chit-chatting and we were working on our own stuff. But when I was chit and chatting with them, I decided to try this and it's been a while. So you take our vellum, vellum cardstock, and you put one color and then you put a darker color. And when I originally did this, I did not use wild wheat. But when I did the second one, I used wild wheat. So I'm going to use wild wheat. Hi, Kathy Jean. Oh, Lena, it's been a while for you too. Cool. I'm just going to add some wild wheat in here. And you just kind of fill in the spaces in between the other colors. And get it to looking the way you want it to look. And I'm thinking I need a little bit more dark right there. I'm not gonna use much of it, but you need to make sure that you have color. There. Okay, so now I've colored that. Hi, Marsha. I've colored that. That's what it looks like. Now taking my rubbing alcohol, and you can pour this into a little container if you want. I'm just gonna dip it right out of the, right out of the bottle because, you know, I got too much on my table. So I've got, I'm picking up rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to dab it. And when you put big blobs, you get big holes and then I take a piece of plastic and I'm going to add some little blotches on there. Oh, look at this, it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna put that aside, put the lid on my rubbing alcohol so I don't spill it. Then I'm gonna take Wink of Stella. Did I say hi to Marsha? I don't remember, hi Marsha. I'm just going to put a little bit, flick a little bit of Wink of Stella on there because it adds a little bit of bling. And you know, I'm all about the bling. Okay, now you can see that some of these have gotten away from me and they're too big. So I'm just going to let that dry because it's not quite dry yet. And then I'm going to add some more color in there. But I need to dry it first. And I love, I love when it gets light and dark see how it's got the dark edges around I, that i love that part okay we'll just have to let that dry for a little bit before i put some more on the my blotches were too big that's what's causing that issue but that's okay because i'm not using that whole thing anyway okay so now we can build the card and then i'll show you how to do that um the sentiment okay so Base is Highland Heather eight and a half by five and a half. And I have five and a quarter by four for the inside. And I didn't show you the inside. There it is. And the envelope will look like that because now I have envelopes, thanks to Janet. And you know. <laughs> okay, so that'll be inside. I got Pretty Peacock one, but well, that's not Pretty Peacock. That's Lost Lagoon. This is Pretty Peacock one by four and a half for die cuts. This is Lost Lagoon, and that's one and a half by four for die cuts. A piece of soft shimmer in bubble bath, which looks suspiciously like fresh freesia when you add it to, um, to any kind of purple. It pulls the purple out. And that is one half an inch by five and a quarter. And I think I've cut it a bit too long, so I'm going to have to shorten it up a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me, then I have some white one by three ish, whatever size, because there's going to be a die cut. And then perennial lavender designer paper. Now, this is the same piece. So I cut it at five and a quarter by four. That way, you make sure that they're both the same size. And then you cut one in one inch off of whatever end you want. And I turn it over so it's going to be like that. And then I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the glimmer paper. Come on, She's stuck in it along that where it joins there. But first, I have to shorten my glimmer paper. 
If I was building this onto a piece of basic white that was five and a quarter, I wouldn't have to do this step, but I'm not. And I wanna make sure it's the same length. So I'm just going to layer it and then, come on, layer it and then trim that off. There we go. Okay, now it's the same size. Hi, Valerie. Okay. Let's, I've got those pieces are all ready to go. Let's get the dies out. I'm going to cut this die in Pretty Peacock. And I'm going to cut this die in Lost Lagoon. And I am not using adhesive sheet because I don't want them to be flat. I want them to have a little bit of stick them up. And then this one, I'm going to die cut in white. And I've got lots of white here because it was just a scrap I had and I was not about to cut and I already had a piece. That would work. Okay, here we go. And with my sneaky new bottle for my Tombow glue, I can add glue exactly where I want it on those little teeny tiny itty bitty die cuts. Okay. Got these. I'm gonna I'm going to pull my my piece of background and see if it's dry yet so I can add some more. See if this is, is this dry? I think so. Let's see if I can add a bit more color to this. There we go. See? So if you get it to the point where you the holes are too big, just add more and start again. It's not the end of the world, people. This is fun stuff. And I'm leaving some of them untouched. Oh, yellow. See how the, the wild wheat turns like a golden green. It's really weird. Okay, let's add some more alcohol and see what happens to those little spots. And this time I'm going to knock off the, not get quite as big blobs. Come on. And there, see, it starts to work already. You just have to um, use the 99% because the other stuff doesn't work. Okay, now I'm gonna take my, my plastic, where did my plastic go? I've got a mess already. How long have I been online? And I've got a mess and I've lost things already. Oh, there it is. I'm just going to do a little bit of splattering. Okay, now we'll take that and put it behind me so that it dries. And I'm closing my rubbing alcohol wood because it would be just my luck that it's spilt everywhere. Okay, let's get our die cuts. So we'll get some glue on these so they start to dry so tell me what you did on the weekend did you have a good weekend i went nowhere and did nothing i was supposed to go to powell river but i wasn't feeling well on saturday night had the weirdest thing happen and i'll tell you about it in a minute so i postponed the class because i didn't want to wake up sick on sunday morning and have to cancel on Sunday morning. So the ladies were very gracious and we rescheduled for next week. But I had um, I had an introductory class on Saturday with um, some new ladies in our neighborhood. We've had a few new people move into our neighborhood. So I thought, what a better way to learn, to know, get to know them than to spend a couple of hours creating a card together right and it's no pressure they they knew right from the start they could just come and create with me and we'd make a card and it would be just a fun thing so 
they were here. We made a card. We had fun. We talked and laughed and got to know each other. One is new to town. The other one has lived in town for a long time. She just, they moved into our neighborhood. Then they went home and I was cleaning up and our youngest local grandson was here for dinner because everybody else was busy with stuff. So he came to have dinner with us. So him and Ted were cooking dinner and I was in my classroom cleaning and I dropped something on the floor and it rolled underneath something. So I had to bend over and crawl around on underneath my craft table to gather all this stuff up and put it back in the drawer that I had dropped. And I stood up and about two minutes later, I started getting woozy. It was the weirdest feeling I have ever had in my life. And everything was going around and around. And I felt nauseous. So I went out to the kitchen and Ted said to me, oh, what's up with you? I said, I don't know, but I feel like I'm going to, oh, shoot. And I had to run to the bathroom. And I puked. I puked four times. Every time I would go into the wall. I know this is gross, and but I went. I would go into the washroom and throw up. And then I'd sit there and not move and let things calm down. And then I would get up and think, oh, I should go lay down on the bed. So I'd lay down on the bed. And then I'd have to get up and puke again. So that happened four times. And then I thought, well, dummy, don't lay down. So I stayed sitting up and it passed. And I got up and I was fine. Within a half an hour, everything was hunky-dory. It was like nothing had happened. I got hungry. I had to eat dinner because I hadn't eaten dinner because, you know, throwing up the whole thing. And I got up Sunday morning and I was perfectly fine. So I could have done the class, but I didn't know that on Saturday. And I figured I might as well cancel the class. Then I don't have to worry about um, whether I'm going over or not, whether I'm sharing the bugs with the ladies over there. And they could get their day organized without a panic call for me that we weren't doing the class. So. That's what's happened. That was my weekend. So then I didn't go anywhere. Oh, Valerie made a card for her stamping up the delivery person who laughed because he took her parcel to the wrong house the other day. <laughs> That'll teach him. Okay, I'm putting a bit of Tombow on the back of my shimmer paper strip as well. There we go. And I'm just going to try and pick this up without getting glue all over myself. I'm thinking it was about a vertigo, Connie. I have never had vertigo in my life, but because I had to crawl under the table and go underneath something, like I had to contort myself to find, get the piece that had rolled into the corner. I'm thinking that it was about a vertigo. Yeah. And as soon as I sat and didn't move and let things calm down, it was fine. That's my life. You know, you never know what's going to happen in Mollet's world. Okay. Now, get this piece. What do you think? Doesn't that look cool? Oh, trucking along. What a good idea, Val. Made little boxes for the back and put black lines across so they look, <laughs> they look like stamping on boxes. Oh, my God, that's amazing. Um, about six years ago, there was a pattern going around for a UPS truck made out of cardboard cardstock. And it had wheels and it opened, the back opened, and you could put treats inside. And I made one for my UPS dude back then he still has it and he still talks about that truck that i made him and of course i filled it with chocolate which made it even better so 
Cindy says, I have to close out your video and watch it tomorrow. It keeps cutting out and then not coming back for many minutes. I don't know why it's freezing up on me, but I'll try. Oh, I'm sorry, Cindy. That sucks. Facebook is so glitchy these days. Okay, there's my there's my die cut. Is that going to be an amazing thing? My guy is an OHM guy. What's an OHM guy? I'm missing something. Okay. That and that. So let's get the front finished. I'm going to put, what do I put down first? I put down one of these and we're going to stick it here. And then I'm going to put one of these and I'm going to stick it there. And then we'll put this one down the middle. And then we'll take the white one and put the white one on top. And that gives it a little bit of contrast. And then Wink Costella, if I do it now, then it isn't hidden by my sentiment piece that I'm going to put on top of it. Just a few dab, diddle dabs of um, Wink of Stella on strategic spots, not the whole thing. But sometimes less is more, especially with Wink of Stella. Okay, and then on the white, good to go. Okay, and now we have this, and this is going to go over top there like that. And I'll move it around until it looks good. But we need to do the scent. Oh, let's stamp this and then we'll stamp the scent and do the sentiment because I have to. Oh, delivery guy. That's cool. Where you go, Val? Make your, your person feel wanted and important. Which is very important, right? Oh. oh, Nadine and Cindy, I'm sorry you're having so many problems. I still can't find it on Facebook. I don't know where it is on Facebook, but at least you guys found me. Okay, so I'm just going to do ink stamp stamp. For the inside, and look, I have an envelope. Yay! I should do two of them while I'm here. And I can make an envelope for the other one. I love doing this technique on insides and envelopes. Man, that order better get here because I'm running out of them again. I don't know what the problem is with that lovely order. I'm frozen. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Get this out of the way. Now we're going to do the sentiment thing. And I want to be able to play with it. So let me get this inside my card so I can get it out of the way. And then I will do the sentiment piece. Now, has anybody played with this? What's it called? Thoughtful Expressions Hybrid Embossing Folder and Dyes. Has anybody played with them? The weather is wreaking havoc with internet and cable, and it is a pain, Kathy. No, I didn't get my order, Lena. The last time I checked, it was in Redmond. It hadn't even made it across the border yet. Okay, so the embossing folder. There's a technique. You can see that it's got ink around the edge of it, right? Okay, I'll show you how you do that. It's got to get it out first. Okay, so I'm using Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather cardstock. There's two ways of doing this. Mm, happy birthday, John, whoever you are. Okay, so there's two ways of doing this. You can use a brayer, and we now sell them in the catalog again, but this is my old one. I never ordered a new one. And you can brayer it on if you want, and I will show you how to do that. And Or you can do pad 
straight to the embossing folder. So to do the brayer, you ink it up. And you don't do this when you're inking a brayer because you always miss a spot. See how it's dark there and light there? You ink like this. So that when you stop is where it starts the next time. And then you want, this is on the side that has the stamping up logo on it. And you just go over top of it. And don't worry about it getting down into the crevices. That's fine. We don't have to worry about that. So you, you go over top of the whole thing. And you just keep going and brayering until it's all covered. Okay, so that's with the brayer. If you don't have a brayer, don't panic. Because you just take your ink pad and go straight onto your embossing folder like this. Make sure you get down far enough that you're getting the edges. See, I've missed the J in just because. I'm going to turn that around so I can get some in there. And you can see how it's getting a lot of ink down in the crevices. That's okay. Rainstorm since 4 a.m. At least it's in the mid-upper 60s. Well, that's good. It's not snow. Okay, so ink everywhere. And then you put your, your dye in there. Stick it down in the holes. Now, you see how that's going to protect my cardstock around each embossed word? so that all that guck there is not going to get on here where the words are. Brilliant, eh? So I'm going to put this in here, and then you close this. And then we're going to run it through. Now, it does not matter if you go this way or this way. As long as you go hinge first, it doesn't matter what is facing up. So to run this through, I'm going to use platform one then the embossing folder, and I'm holding it so that that paper doesn't move, and then platform four. Now, there has been some discussion that it's really hard to put this whole thing through your machine, depending on how tight your machine is. So instead of four, you might just have to use a three, which is a little bit thinner than the four. So just be aware of that. Mine, I can use the four. It's tight, but it's not too tight that I can't get it through. And it go. I'm going through slowly, so it's allowing it to work. Has anybody played with this? Do you have this? Have you done these amazing words? I was kind of skeptical that this would work, but look at this. Look, see, you get some of that gook in, but it doesn't matter. It does not affect your words. Because all of that, let's get this out of the way. Yuck. See, I've got it all over my fingers now. I think, I don't think I have any in here. They're all dry. Oh, shoot. Oh, well. You know, hand sanitizer. That works, too. I don't want to. I don't want to get this all over my. All over my um, paper. So I'm just getting the ink off of my fingers. There we go. OK, now I can take these out. So these all pop out of here because they're all die cut. And you throw away the gucky part because you don't need this part because you have this part and you get that. Is that not the coolest thing? And look at all of these. Now you don't have to do it all at once. Um, to do the whole thing, you need a six by six piece of cardstock, but you don't need to do them all. You can do it, put a piece in there. So there's that. I did it with white and blue. Um, Misty Moonlight, I think it was. So there's what it looks like when it's when you use white cardstock. 
exactly the same. And then I went ahead and did it out of foil because holy Aunt Jamoli. <laughs> You're welcome, Nadine. So here's it. I used the rose gold gold foil and it's just the it's just the matte foil. It's not the holographic or the glossy foil. This is just the regular matte foil. But look at this. Look at those. Those not incredible. Right? Okay. So um I do want to try something different tonight. What do you think? I want, oh, what sentiment should I use on my card? This one I used thinking of you. On this one I used hello. So what sentiment shall we use on this one? You make me happy. Let's, let's do that one. So now I've done all of these. I'm going to put them, I've got a, I've got a little baggie with all the other leftover ones. Look at that. Oh, happy day. You could put that inside. Okay. So we'll put this on and then um, I will, I want to try something. What am I looking for? I'm looking for my dimensionals. Because I want this up on, because it's so nice and wide. I can put this on dimensionals and I don't have to worry about lots of little itty bitty teeny tiny pieces. So some of you have this and have not used it yet. Some of you don't have it. Have I, have I changed your mind about it? Has anybody decided that, yes, that's going to be in my craft room soon? I just think it's fun to play with. And I want to try, I want to try it with some um, embossing powder and Versamark ink. So you have a choice. Shall I um, show you how to make that other card or shall we play with the embossing folder? Another have to have? Oh, Pat, you're so funny. So tell me in the comments, do you want me to show you how to create that other card? I'll do it. If you decide not to do it tonight, I'll do it at some point. Um, or do you want me to use embossing Versamark ink and embossing powder and see if it works? Comment and let me know. So I put this on first onto the vellum because it's not straight. Then you know where to put your um, adhesive underneath so that it's hiding. And I'm only going to put it, I'm only going to put it on each side, not in the center. So if I put this on here like this, then I'll know where to put the you know, dimensionals. Because wherever the dimensionals are, that's where I'll put dimensionals. Because I know that's in behind cardstock. Oh, I wasn't going to put them in the middle. Oh, some days my brain, I tell you. And I'll get one right there. And I can't put any down there because there's no cardstock down there. There we go. Hey, Carmen. Whatever I want to do. Embossing folder, please. Play with the embossing folder. Okay, looks like I'm playing with the embossing folder. Yay, because I wanted to do that. You're just going to have to give me a sec, though, to go and wash that embossing folder out and get the ink out of it. Because I don't have a sink in my craft room. There we go. And finish it off with the bling, bling, bling. Bling, bling, bling. Bling. Let's use the red ones. Well, they're not red. It's berry burst. Because that's what's in here. 
Um, put one there. Hmm, put one there. Oh, I was making um, this morning. I was making Shanna's cards for the creative escape. Oh my God, guys, they're gorgeous. And she did a fun fold for her early bird card that is stunning. Okay, so there's, there you, oh, one thing I did on the original one and I didn't do it on this one is now I took Wink of Stella and I went over top of the words, the embossed part of the word and right out to the edge so that it reactivated a bit of that ink. Now it doesn't get really dark by reactivating that ink, but it does get a little bit darker and then you have sparkly words and it's not hard i won't do it all because that will take me a while but it's really easy to just add a bit of wink of stella to the big parts of the words there you go and then if you want to add a little bit to the flowers and the designer paper as well, dot, 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 And we're done. I love this, this suite. My friend Leanne asked me today, what is your favorite thing in the catalog? Guess what it was? The perennial lavender suite. Yep. Okay, I have to go. I have to go get rid of the ink on here. So give me. One minute, and I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, Wendy. Now. Got water everywhere. You have to make sure they're good and dry, too, because, of course, we're going to put cardstock in there. I need a piece of cardstock. That's what. I want. Blackberry Bliss and Gold Embossing. Okay. I was gonna draw do the whole thing, but I think I'll just do a I'll just do a couple of them just to see what it's like. Step one, Versa Mark. Where's Versa Mark? There it is. I love Blackberry Bliss and gold together. Okay, black Versa Mark going on the embossing folder, just like we did with the gorgeous grape. Am I doing this where you can see? I don't remember. Here we go. So I'm just making sure that it's well covered. Now this is going to be a little bit more difficult because of course it's clear and I can't see it. Now the um, the ink, the gorgeous grape ink just washes off with water running over top of it. This 
I would have to use a warm water and um, some a bit of hand soap to get it clean. Okay, got that. Now, do I want the? I don't want the gold. You know what? Okay, Versamark ink. I was thinking through. Did you hear my my brain working? Versamark ink cardstock. Oh, that one's not quite wide enough. Hang on. I need it three inches by six inches. Okay, this is going on here like this. And I'm going to close this. I'm going to run this through my machine with number one and number four. Oh, thanks, Cindy. Hi, Judy. Yeah, I got class again tomorrow because last week it was snowy and we had to postpone our class. Okay. Remove this out of the way. I don't want to get embossing powder on my... Now, I don't know whether this is going to work. I have no idea. I should have said this first. This is just an idea I had, and I don't know if it's going to work or not. So we're experimenting tonight. Um, might have to move this. See if it's even going to stick. Oh, I think it might work. Okay. It's difficult because it's so small. <laughs> I, I don't want to, I don't want to touch it because I should have used embossing buddy. Oops. Should have used embossing buddy. Let's see, it's got a little bit too much up there. So this may not work. Okay, let's try, let's try celebrate. Because it's big. Once you get the embossing powder on, you can let it sit for a while. You just need to get that embossing powder on quickly. Oops, that worked better. Okay. Can you see? Can you see the powder on there now? Now, I've got embossing powder everywhere, people. Everywhere. <laughs> All right, heat gun. If my glass mat wasn't so heavy, I would haul my glass mat over here because I could just heat right on the glass mat, but it's too heavy. Hi, Della. Okay, now I'm going to try and hold this in place while I cook it. And we'll see if my great idea is going to work or not. Whoa. I'm trying to get the the other one out without taking all the this one is not going to work as good because there's too much up there where it says you make me but that's okay I can cut that off and have just the happy and then we could stamp birthday we could have happy birthday on there Whoops. Hmm. 
Well, people, I'm excited. Thanks for sharing. Apparently, I just ruined my dollar store cutting mat, but that's okay. It cost me a dollar. I'm not worried about it. So here you go. Here we go. Look. It worked. This one, not so much because it stuck up there. But all I have to do is take this and trim. Trim this. Cut off that mung at the top there. And we'll have happy. There we go. We have happy. And there's celebrate. I'm so excited it worked. And then we have this. This is okay too, because you can see the words in there. They're just all gold. So it does work. And I am really sorry about people who are having issues watching my video. Can I ask you, when you watch other um, Facebook Lives, does it do the same thing or is it just mine? Because if it does the same thing for others, then it's not me. But if it doesn't, if it's just me, then I have to figure out what's going on. I think it's gorgeous. I love it. Let me put it on some white so you can have a look at it on some white. And there's nothing better than um, Blackberry Bliss and gold together. It's just elegant. So there we go. Our experiment worked. So that's the thoughtful expressions. Where did I put it? Thoughtful Moments Hybrid Embossing Folder. And it comes as a pair. And it is. You may have overlooked it in the catalog because I did the first time. Rosemary says, my video tonight on Facebook has been perfect. No delay, no stops. It's like you're sitting in my craft table. Ah, oh, nice. Nadine says, today's the only time I've had delay voice but it has cleared up i think it's the weather holly if you could um pay yeah check and see and then let me know okay so these things let me find what page it's on thoughtful moments page 18 Okay, so on page 18 and 19 is where these hybrid embossing folders are. We have one that is Adoring Hearts. There. And then this one that is the words. There's the new brayer. There's what it looks like. So it tells you in here, use the stamp and brayer to ink the logo side of the embossing folder, then add your dies. And this is the result you will get. So this card here, they've taken white and then they've cut out um, pretty pink, no, petal pink, and then that dazzling um, specialty paper. Look at that. You see there's three layers in the hello? That's kind of cool. Janet didn't have issues. Oh, good. And Cindy, if you're having problems watching it on Facebook, go to my YouTube channel because it will be there within a half an hour of me signing off. No issues for Kathy. Yay. Hi, Yvonne. So, Yvonne, we just played with the new Thoughtful Moments hybrid embossing folder. I did, just to recap for everybody, there's the card I made. I did the alcohol technique, the alcohol background technique. This is the original one I made. This is tonight's. 
And then this is the hybrid embossing folder and you add ink to it and then you cut it out. And then I thought, well, let's try, let's try embossing powder. So there you go. This is gonna make a gorgeous card. I think you do too, Yvonne. <laughs> You're very welcome, Lena. Oh, good, Connie, thank you. All right, well, that's it. We're done. I have a big mess to clean up now. That might take me more than five minutes, but I'm go I will upload this video to my YouTube channel right away. So if you had issues listening to it, try it on YouTube because it's usually a little bit better. Facebook has been really glitchy all weekend, I'm telling you. Oh, Della says it's freezing on her too. Oh. Well, at least I was good for Rosemary and Tofino. <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for watch playing playing with me live and for catching the replay and for watching my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that, that subscribe button right there. And you will get notified whenever I put a video on. And if you have notifications, then sometime yesterday, you would have gotten a notification that I was live on YouTube. That was a mistake. That should have been, it was one of my club cards and it should have been unlisted and I didn't do that part. So those of you that caught me live got to watch it. I've now made it unlisted. So if you didn't see it, you won't see it, except if you're part of my club. Thanks, everybody. I will be live tomorrow night, seven o'clock, right here on my page and hopefully my VIP group. And I'm going to open the January Paper Pumpkin Kit, which is all about lavender. And there's some gorgeous cards out there. Yes. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll see you soon in my craft room. Stamp and smiles, and bye for now.